Gentlemen, Antonio here. Today we're going to be talking about how to wear a suit without a necktie. I'm going to give you five tips on how to skip the necktie whenever you are wearing it with a jacket, suit. You know, for this video, I'm going to use the two terms interchangeably. In addition, guys, I want to point out a suit normally is when you've got a jacket and a pair of trousers made of the same fabric. However, I know a lot of you guys pulling off sports jackets, perhaps blazers, and you want to know, Antonio, can I, these rules still apply? In general, yes. Now, if you want more information, go check out the article. The support article, I go into a lot more details there. And guys, I want to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know. Do you agree? Is it something, are you really old school? And it's like, Antonio, anytime you wear a suit or a jacket, you need to wear a tie. Or you're like, Antonio, I pull this look off all the time. But guys, I love learning from you, so let me know in the comments. Now, tip number one, make sure that if you're going to pull this look off, that it's the right environment that you've looked around because understand that choosing to not wear a necktie with your suit, it's not, I would say it's not as rebellious as wearing a leather jacket, but it is something that gives off that signal of, okay, this guy is walking his own path, especially when you walk into a room and everyone else is wearing a necktie. And yeah, you, you've got the jacket on, but you've decided to totally skip the necktie look. And in some cases, it may work out great. If you own the company and you guys have a dress code, if you need to wear a jacket, most people assume, okay, I need to wear a necktie with it. But you're the guy that shows up, hey, I've got the jacket on, I'm, I'm following the code, but I wear it in my way. Or maybe you're a Silicon Valley you know, guy and you want to get dressed up to go to the bank, but at the same time, you've never worn a necktie and you're not going to do it. However, if you're a young guy, just graduated college, law school, and you're going into an interview with a conservative legal company out in New York City. Well, in that case, do you want to try to, you know, at that point, do you need to assert, you know, that, hey, I'm not going to wear a necktie? Or do you realize, you know, this is the culture of the company I'm going into and perhaps I need to wear it? A father-daughter dance. Okay, your little girl, she's expecting you to dress your best. All the other dads are going to have on neckties and you want to have some great pictures of her kind of holding your neckties, you're holding her up and just spending this time with your daughter. Think about the situation. And if you're cool with, you know, skipping the necktie, then go for it. But the key, gents, is I don't want you to be second guessing yourself. I don't want you to lose confidence. Point number two is the collar is key. So this is what's going to frame the face. You don't have the necktie here to hold it together anymore. So guys, you need to make sure that you've got a strong, sharp looking collar. Go check out this video. I've already gone into a great detail talking about how to create, how to maintain, how to have a great looking collar. But in summary, remember it starts with the placket. Go check out Million Dollar Collar. Guys, I've talked about that startup before. I think they did a great job creating something that can help solve if you've got a weak placket issue. After that, you want to look at the collar itself. Make sure it's iron. Make sure it has removable collar stays. And if so, put in some metal or plastic collar stays, magnetic collar stays. Whatever you need to get those two things to look great is going to go really far because again, guys, without that necktie right there basically pointing at your face when people look at you when they look at what frames your face it's going to be that strong collar and you don't want to try to be pulling something off that's really weak or limpy or falling over now we've got the issue of one or two buttons and what do i mean okay so when you because it's not tied up right here you're either going to unbutton the one or you're going to unbutton the two or some of you guys i guess maybe go three or four but i'm only going to be talking about the one or the two understand that if you go with the two button unbutton look it's much more casual, especially if it starts to open up. Now, in my case, I am wearing a three button suit jacket and I've got the first two buttons. So it's a little bit more done up. And because it does that, the collar, because it's strong, actually does a good job of keeping it closed. I feel fine. I dress for myself and I'm pulling off this look with confidence. But guys, if you're going to be wearing this to work and most people are wearing ties and you're going down a little bit too far, it may be something that people just like, who is this guy think he is? Pay attention to your environment. If you've got the courage, if you've got the strength, if you've got the position in your company to be able to pull it off, great. Otherwise, guys, you may want to think about maybe just go with the one button there. So point number four and tied to the number of buttons is basically your undershirt. You don't want to be pulling this down and all of a sudden have this undershirt. So crew neck, basically where it goes all the way up, probably not going to be something you normally want to wear if you're going to be skipping out on the necktie and you're going to be opening up the front of your shirt with it with a suit. I just don't think it looks great. Uh, there's, you know, there, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? 
I think that you should be looking at a V-neck undershirt. If you, I mean, some guys don't even want to wear undershirts, but if you're going to wear it, go for the V-neck. Now, some of you guys are saying, Antonio, I've got a lot of chest hair. Oh, in that case, you may want to trim. Yes, I am advocating you can trim your chest hair a bit if when it starts getting out of control there. But the point is, you just don't want this big white undershirt. So tip number five is pay attention to your other accessories. Because there is no necktie right here, all of a sudden people's eyes are going to look around. They're going to want to latch onto something else on your outfit. And guess what that's going to be? Pocket square, watch, your shoes other little accessories, you know, cufflinks. So make sure that those are maybe taken a level up. So when it comes to the pocket square, this is something that I think so many guys, if they were just to try wearing a pocket square, it doesn't have to be something fancy. You can go with a simple white square fold pocket square and all of a sudden that's going to look great and you will get more compliments. Now on your shoes, this is some place where you're assuming you're wearing a suit, maybe a hole cut, something that's made from a single piece of leather, very elegant. And this would be something they'll look down and they'll, ah, oh, you know, they'll notice the shoes a bit more. Again, because they're not going to get tied up in the necktie. Oftentimes when people look at someone, they see that necktie and that keeps them focused in there. But without that, they're going to maybe wander around. And again, bring in wide range of shoes. I'm, yes, I'm even advocating uh, in this case, you could be wearing loafers because you've got that more casual look, especially if you're going with a lighter colored suit and it's warm weather. And all these shoes, by the way, are from Paul Evans. Guys, that is it. In the article, I go and actually give you a few more tips. I go beyond the five there in the article because I, I like to do stuff like that. And if you want more, if you're like Antonio, I need more information about style. Well, guess what? I've got tons of free eBooks now over at Real Men Real Style. Go grab them. I'm going to be changing them out. They're not always going to be the same. And so if you miss one, you may miss it forever, but go over there. You can download all of them. And every, every couple months, I'm trying to change it up. Guys, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.